Hey everyone, this is Wobby Wallaby. The long-awaited episode 10 update has arrived. If you want to see how I achieved 24.7 million zenny per day, and of that 12.4 million is raw zenny, then keep watching to see how I did this on these new maps, and my character setup. In this video, we'll cover 1. Why you should farm on these new maps 2. Monster information 3. Getting to the new maps 4. Monster spawning locations 5. Gear 6. Character setup 7. Farming statistics First why you should farm on these new maps. You need to farm these maps for the new ancient equipment materials, so it's very important. Also, the secret files is used for map buffs, which will help you farm more efficiently in the future. Two reasons why you may not want to farm here is that the spawn and density is lower when compared to the Komodo maps you'll be earning less raw zenny here compared to Komodo. Secondly, you don't have map buffs when you first start farming, so you have to hit really hard. You need good Stellar Hunter gear and advanced ruins for Meteor Fission to one-shot monsters. Next is monster information. All monsters will drop ancient equipment materials and secret files. All these creatures have over 1.1 million HP, which means you have to hit really hard with Meteor Fission, otherwise you won't be able to one-shot a group. First is Fawn, which is Wind, Brute, and Large. Next is Fox Fairy, which is Holy, Angel, and Medium. The annoying part about this creature is it's Holy, so it takes 75% damage from Elemental Converters. Neutral damage does 100% damage. A notable drop is Rough Aridicon for refining. Next is Soul Morpho. It's Ghost, Formless, and Small. If you hit this with neutral damage, you deal 25% damage to it, so that's really bad. Make sure you're using an Elemental Converter if you're fighting these monsters. Next is Driller, which is Earth, Brute, and medium. Next is horn, which is earth, insect, and medium. Next is reaping raven, which is dark, demon, and small. Next is wandering soul, which is undead, formless, and medium. A notable drop is rough lunium for refining. Also, fire converters do double damage to undead, which may not be obvious for this type. Next is getting to the new maps. Go to Prontera and talk with the boy near the top left portal. The green quest is Malfunctioning Soul Hunting Grounds. Go through the top left portal to access the Royal Hunting Grounds map. There are crowns on the map that allow you instantly teleport to certain locations. I click on one to go to the top right. Talk to the giant monument and choose to teleport to Soul Hunting Grounds. Now you have access to Soul Hunting Grounds as well. Next, monster spawning locations. Both maps have creatures all over the map, so it's difficult to target just one monster type as a Stellar Hunter. You need to deal with at least two types, and sometimes the monster combination is really bad. For Royal Hunting Grounds, the best spot is the red area at the bottom. The density and spawn rate is best here. This is primarily filled with Fox Fairy and Fawns. The problem with Fox Fairy is the holy type. If you use an Earth Converter versus the Fawn, you'll only do 75% damage to the Fox Fairy. Because of this bad monster combination, I wouldn't recommend doing this spot unless your Stellar Hunter is very strong. 
The next best spot is the blue area, where it's mostly Soul Morpho and Driller. Using a fire converter is good here, and I think this area is the easiest in the map to one-shot monsters. However, the density here isn't good, and your character will run around a lot. You may end up at the top of the map, or to the left side. Next, there is a unique green spot at the top. There are only drillers here, so you can target a particular type. However, the density and spawn rate isn't as good here, so your character will run around a lot. Honestly, this map is hard. I experimented here on day one and had issues one-shotting more than one monster type. Therefore, the farming efficiency for me was bad on this map. Instead, I'd highly recommend Soul Hunting Grounds, so it's much easier to target certain monsters. Also, Fire Converter here works well against Wandering Soul and Horn, so you just have to adjust your cards and gear to deal with Reaping Raven. This map has the exact same layout as a previous map, so again, the optimal location is the red area, which primarily has Wandering Souls and Reaping Ravens. This is my recommended farming spot. The next best spot is the blue area, which primarily has Reaping Ravens and Horns. Again, the unique green area at the top has only one monster type, which is the Horn. Next is gear. My gear targets the Soul Hunting Grounds monsters. Its focus is on the Reaping Ravens, and then I use the Fire Converter to deal with the other monsters. First is the plus 15 Eagle Flute for a massive amount of range damage and physical damage increase. I use the Dark Shadow card to deal with Reaping Ravens. Next for armor is Tyre's Armor, and I use the Archer Skeleton Star card for more attack percentage. Next for garment, I use the Cloud Undershirt with the Celebration Collection card for all attributes plus 3. Next, for shoes, I use the plus 8 advanced teddy shoes with the rainbow fall card for more attack percentage. Next, for accessories, the first one I use is the dog servant. It does extra damage to demons, which helps versus the reaping ravens. For card, I use the greatest general card for the final damage plus 10%. For my next accessory, it is another dog servant. It is not socketed, but if it were, I'd use the Ultraman card for damage versus demons. For Ancient Relic, I'm using Waze Size, which provides great dex, attack, and attack percentage. Next, for Weapon, I use the Overlord Crab Bow. For cards, I use the Desert Wolf card to deal extra damage to small monsters because Reaping Ravens are small. Next, for Headwear, I use Small Secret for 1% more Zenny dropped and the Mashin Hero Wataru card for auto attack damage. This is the best Zenny making headwear in the game. For face, I use the Illusory Light Mirror for auto attack damage. Next for mouth, I use the Glutunius Imp for penetration percentage and final damage percentage. Next for back, I use one Eyed Captain so I can have unlimited SP and faster move speed after killing targets. Next for Tail, I use Fluffy for the auto attack damage percentage increase. Next is Character Setup. With self buffs, Dex B, and 6 Satisfied Feasts, here is my character statistics. For Attributes, I max Dex and Agility, and then put the rest in Luck. My attack is at 17,000. My move speed is at 168%. My attack speed is at 480%. My total dex is at 469, agility at 286, and 214 luck. My penetration percentage is 64.8. My critical is 151. My critical damage is at 311.8%. My auto attack damage increase is at 47.1%. My damage is at 70.3%. My physical damage increase is at 77.8%.
my fire damage is at 37%. Against demons is 19.2% and against small monsters is at 50%. Next is advanced runes. Advanced runes help a ton with damage output. First is excellent state star which can add a ton of auto attack damage. The variable cast time here is bad so I would recommend using the chant buff to offset the bad cast time. With this, I'm able to get a zero cast time. The other advanced ruins is the Assassin Ruin for Fear Breeze damage, Impact Electro Optic Ruin for Blitz Beat, Animal Monster Ruin for Trump Tamer, Precision Sniper Ruin for Critical Damage Percentage, and the Comet Light Fission Star for more Meteor Fission damage. This ruin and the Excellent State Star Ruin are the ones that will give you a ton of damage, so try to roll for as good ruins as possible for these two. Next is Oracle Mirror. I'm using the Combustible Knife, which currently gives me 8% more penetration. Next are my skills. If you want a more detailed Stellar Hunter character guide, please see the link in the description, as I'll be going through this very quickly. Here are my Archer skills. Here are my Hunter skills. Here are my sniper skills. And here are my ranger skills. For auto attack, I have work rider, prepare for elite, and auto attack. Inside prepare for elite, I have true sight, wind walk, exceed break, star arrows, Unlimited Stars, and Meteor Fission. Next for Pet, I used a Mistilin for the Penetration Percentage. You can use other pets that have Penetration Percentage as well, or you can even use the Isiris if you're worried that you're going to die to the MVPs or minis on these maps. Next for Adventure Handbook, my attack is at 2127. I worked on this much more in the last couple months, and it makes a huge difference. My attack percentage from gachas is 24. Next is farming statistics. Let's do a full farming run to red stamina and see how that goes. Here's my gear. I'm going to eat 6 Satisfied Feasts, Fire Converters, and Dex B Meals. Here's my starting Zenny and my drops. Also, here's my secret files. Here's my starting combat time. I'm farming at the bottom of Soul Hunting Grounds. I will target all since I can kill everything here. I set offline farming for 330 minutes and away we go. And we're back. The offline farming summary shows 10.9 million raw zenny, which is looking promising so far. I log in and I scroll through my loot. You can see I got quite a lot of new materials and secret files. I open my bag and you can see the new drops. I was also lucky enough to get cards. I show my ending secret files as well. I teleport back to town and switch to my Lightbringer. I switch to my Lightbringer for the overpriced skill. 
you have to sell the Bag of Zenny to the NPC to take advantage of the overpriced skill. Do not open the Bag of Zenny in your bag, or you won't get that bonus. Next I open up my inventory again and show the current exchange prices. Wax seal is at 662 zenny, and silver wrapping lace is at 677 zenny. Here is my overall summary. Keep in mind I had farmed a bit before going to offline battle. I get 12.4 million raw zenny, which is quite good considering I don't have any map buffs yet. If I include sellable materials, I will have 24.7 million zenny. I'll be covering the map buffs in a future video, so stay tuned for that. There's potential to make even more zenny on these maps. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe.